Hi guys, if you're preparing for Plat 2, uh, I just want to let you know something that is very important to boost your performance. And that is what is called crossing the bridge. Uh, a couple of you may have heard of this, but a couple may not have really heard about this concept. Or, or what you may have actually be, you know, putting it into practice, but you may you probably haven't heard about it called crossing the bridge. And why should you apply this concept to your Plat 2 examinations is to boost your performance and for you not to be marked down as having a disorganized consultation or as you know, uh, assessment of a patient. So what it means essentially is that your, um, your consultation is divided into three parts, usually sometimes into two parts, or usually most times into three parts, and that's a history taking, you know, physical examination and you know, discussing, discussing diagnosis and management, okay, or follow-up. So those three arms of your consultation, what it means is that the moment you finish your history taking and you proceed into your physical examination, you shouldn't go back to asking questions. For instance, the patient has presented with, you know, with a cough and um, you've taken your history and then you've got into physical examination and probably the process of examining the patient, you're like, oh yeah, uh, just to check, uh, do you smoke? So that's history taking in your physical examination. You're crossing the bridge from physical examination back to history taking. And that's usually in an exam set. In real life, it happens, right? But in an examination setting, like the plug 2 setting, is classified as a disorganized consultation. So you shouldn't be doing that. It's important to ask about smoking. Very important. But in an exam situation, if you've crossed into examination, just forget about asking that question. Okay. Uh, don't cross the bridge. No matter how important you think that question is, don't cross the bridge. So the most important thing is make sure you get all the relevant questions, the focused history, when you should be taking your history and then move into your physical examination. And then when you finish your physical examination, you cross the you cross over to management discussing uh, differential, discussing your working diagnosis or differential diagnosis and management and follow-up. The moment you get there, you know, you shouldn't be saying things like, oh, yeah, I should have asked you, do you smoke? You know, because you then want to be able to tell the patient, advise the patient to stop smoking if they do smoke, uh, because smoking, of course, can, you know, uh, give their smokers cough or even increase their risk of developing, um, you know, COPD and lung cancer. So it's very, it's very much advised that you shouldn't cross the bridge, even if you remember, oh, gosh, I should have asked about smoking because that will affect my management, right? Don't. Just do not, because you might be thinking, oh yeah, the examiner will feel me for not asking about smoking, but then the, you might even perform poorer if your consultation is deemed to be, you know, to be disorganized because you're crossing the bridge, you know, moving from examination back to history, you're moving from, you know, from management back to history or from management back to examination. So, Having a knowledge of this concept simply means one thing, simply emphasizes one thing. Make sure you do things when you should do it, okay? Take all your focus history when you should do your focus history. Do your physical examination when you should do your examination. And when you get to your management, discuss your management, okay? You can always give a follow-up and say, okay, yeah, if things are not getting better in the next two weeks, you know, come back to me. Uh, book an appointment with me and then we know we'll have further discussions you know as to what else could be going on so that's that safety net could, could cover for you know for some of the things that you may have missed you do a very good safety net at the end of the consultation it, it just makes it look like you yeah, you're in charge and you know you're, you know you're, you're giving that patient a safe space to always come back to you if things do not go as you know as earlier planned do you think this has actually given you more insight towards AC or blood to examination? I, 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 I plead with you to smash the like button, you know, subscribe to my channel and share these uh, insights with your friends who are preparing for similar examinations. Thank you.